continued Ukrainian strikes on Russia's rear logistics facilities, in addition to destroying ammunition stockpiles and the storage facilities themselves, will lead to greater operational pressure on the Russian military. The Institute for the Study of War, ISW, reported this. Ukrainian strikes on targets in Russia could affect offensive operations throughout the entire line of contact in Ukraine if Ukrainian troops have the material base, capabilities and authorization to conduct a large-scale campaign to strike logistics and support facilities in Russia. The ISW pointed out that Ukrainian troops carried out a series of HIMARS strikes on Russian ammunition depots across occupied Ukraine in the summer of 2022, which forced Russian troops to disperse their ammunition depots and reduced the efficiency of Russian logistics at the time. Repeated strikes against ammunition depots within Russia that cause similar levels of damage to the strike in Torapets may force a similar decision point on the Russian military command to reorganize and disperse support and logistics systems within Russia to mitigate the impact of such strikes. Russian forces may not have addressed vulnerabilities at many logistics facilities within Russia due to the sanctuary space that restrictions on Ukraine's use of Western-provided weapons have generated, although the Torapets facility is not within range of Western systems fired from Ukraine. The lifting of restrictions on the use of Western systems and the continued development of Ukraine's own long-range strike capabilities may allow Ukrainian forces to more effectively exploit such Russian vulnerabilities, the ISW said. The ISW also noted that in July 2024, Ukrainian forces struck another Russian ammunition depot near Sakivka, Voronezh Oblast, and further Ukrainian strikes on Russian ammunition and missile depots could also destroy a significant portion of Russian material. Recall Ukrainian forces conducted a successful drone strike against a Russian missile and ammunition storage facility near Torapets, Tver Oblast, on the 18th of September. Continued Ukrainian strikes against rear Russian logistics facilities within Russia will generate wider operational pressures on the Russian military beyond the individual destruction of ammunition stockpiles and logistics facilities. Recall, in recent months, Ukrainian special forces and military units have intensified regular drone and missile attacks on munitions depots and other targets, both in occupied areas of Ukraine and within Russian territory. Thirteen soldiers of the Russian army surrendered to Ukrainian fighters near the city of Sudza, Kursk region of Russia. Footage of the surrender of the Russians was shared by the command of the Ukrainian ground forces. The Russian soldiers who were sent from the front in Ukraine to Kursk and fought for five days announced their intention to surrender by raising a white flag when the Russian soldiers did not receive any support from the command and were left without food, water and ammunition. Among the servicemen, mainly from Yakutia, four were seriously injured. Recall, Uller, aptured soldiers said they'd received as little as one week of training before being sent to the front. Food and water were limited, and often, they had to buy supplies with their own money, they said. Many complained about the leadership of their officers, who, they said, didn't participate in the costly assaults. Last month Ukrainian security service unit operating in Russia's Kursk region took 102 Russian servicemen as prisoners of war, according to a person with knowledge of the operation, who asked not to be identified because the matter is sensitive. The Russians were captured in a sprawling underground complex, and had ample stocks of ammunition and supplies, the person said. 